Hi there guys, this is another video of mine, another random one. I recently got Project Cars 2, <coughs> excuse me, so um, it's just a quick tutorial of how to uh, add like a flasher um, button or map to any of your keys. Um, it's kind of useful for qualifying if people are perhaps in your way, same in the race, just like real life, you know, get out of the way, so. Uh, so, very quickly for you, just not gonna mess about this video, you need to get to a website called Joy2Key, and you need to go onto the download link. <coughs> Excuse the project cars, music in the background. Uh, once you're on there, yep, yeah, you just need to download it, um, which is down here. And once you have downloaded it, you will have a screen like similar to this. Mine's already set up, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, uh, once you've added a profile, um, you then need to um, check that it's uh, picking up your button presses. Uh, so for me, uh, it's got the different buttons from my Thrustmaster T100. So as I press a button, you will see it flashes whichever button I'm pressing, etc. Now I've uh, mapped mine to the up on the D-pad because it's just easy to hold it whilst you're driving just to use the flasher unit. So as you can see, when I press it, it picks it up. Now what I've done, uh, and this is how you do assign it, you double click on it which will open this page here. Uh, I've um, put the letter A as my uh, lights button um, because I also use a button box and A is the uh, lights on there. So you click on this bit here, you press A, which sort of brings it up. And now here is where you can sort of set up the amount of flashes and so on. Uh, I've got it on seven times a second, so as I hold it, it will do it seven times a second. Uh, you can toggle it on and off as well, which I've not gone for because when you're actually trying to put your lights on, you can't. So if you get a night race, you're a bit screwed there. Uh, the only negative is that it doesn't um, hold, uh, it doesn't keep it as it was before. So if it is a night race and you hold it, if you let go at the wrong point, it'll turn your lights off. So maybe if you drop that down to a, a smaller number, maybe four times a second, that might work. Um, but once you've done that, that's as simple as it is. Um, you can play with it all. Uh, see how it goes. Okay on that and then leave this <coughs> running in the background. I have it minimized. So if we go into the game <coughs> I should really have had a race ready. Uh, let's just jump straight into this one uh, Put it on night mode just so you can see it to its full um, And you'll see exactly how it works. Um, like I say, it's kind of like um, Some people might say it's rude or it's annoying but I mean, especially if you're flying down the main straight, about to stop a fl start a flying lap, and someone's coming out of the pit lane, you want them to see you, and, and if you flash at them, they're more likely to see you, um, which is the sort of use I find it. Um, yeah, so we'll give it a go once we're in game. Silly me chose the Nordschleife life because it'll be a longer loading time, but still we're nearly there. Um, you don't obviously see it in the daytime from yourself, but at night time you can see it on your own car. So obviously because it's night time the lights are already on, so I'll turn my lights off with that. And so now, if I press it once quickly, my lights will come on. If I hold it, it will flash my lights. So like I say, I let, I let go at just the right point then, but there is a chance that you might let go at the wrong point. So that's worth remembering. Um, and that's pretty much it guys not much else to say about it uh, you just need to get to that uh, website which I will um, put a link of in the description um, and yeah give it a go any more questions or comments things like that just drop them below and I shall catch you in the next video